Ling Portal Online School presents Indirect Questions. What's an indirect question? At first glance, it may seem that this grammatical topic is difficult to understand. But with constant practice, you will learn how to correctly use indirect questions in your speech. Indirect questions are a polite way to make a request to ask for information. Also, we use them when we're asking for a favour. They are very common in English. Imagine a situation. I want to ask a direction from someone on the street. For example, where is the nearest bank office? Grammatically, the question is asked correctly. It is a direct question. Anyway, the tone of my question does not sound very polite. It would be appropriate to ask with an indirect question, like, could you tell me, please, where the nearest bank office is? When we make requests in English, we usually use the modal verbs can, could and would. We also use them to begin many indirect questions. Here are some common question phrases from indirect questions. Can you tell me? Or could you tell me? Do you know? Would you mind? Would it be possible? I wonder... Do you have any idea? I'd like to know... How to inform indirect questions To ask an indirect question, we start with one of the above phrases, then add a direct question, but with the word order reversed, as in affirmative sentences. Thus, a direct question can be converted into an indirect one by using the modal verbs could and slash or can. For instance, Could you tell me where the bus stop is? Can you tell me where the bus stop is? Memorize the rules. In indirect question with the to be verb, the verb comes after the subject. Can you tell me where the bank is? In indirect questions, we use the has slash have auxiliary verbs that come after the subject. Do you know where he has gone? We do not use auxiliary verbs, do, does, did, in the interrogative clause of an indirect question. Do you have any idea when she moves? Use question marks at the end of indirect questions, which begin with, can you tell me, could you tell me? Do you know? Do you have? Do not use a question mark at the end of an indirect question that does not convey the exact words of the speaker, reported speech, or such sentences that begin with, I wonder, I'd like to know. A full stops should be used instead. Whether or if. We can use if or whether to make indirect yes-no questions and questions with or. Here are the common instructions. If is more common than whether. Whether is used for more formal context. The people will be asked whether they prefer anonymity on the internet. It is preferable to use whether with or when there is more than one alternative in an indirect question. He always says the truth whether it is polite or not. We do not use if after prepositions. I was interested in whether he had his own opinion. Correct. I was interested in if he had his own opinion. Incorrect. When it is used the alternative, if or not, the part or not is placed at the end of the indirect question. I asked her if she was going to the cinema or not. Note. In case of using whether for alternative, it is possible to use both variants, whether or not and whether or not. Keep learning English on the Ling Portal channel and you will speak English with confidence. See you all next time.